What is up, and it's Ark here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about programming the Hall MOSFET on AK Replicas. So, I did a video like this just about a year ago, but now, since that happened, they started putting these MOSFETs into AKs, which I only previously did with AR. Before we get into the programming, Make sure that your replica is clear. The last thing you would want to happen is for the gun to shoot accidentally and a BB flying out. So, load up a battery, take your magazine out, point in a safe direction and fire it a few times. Alright, so to factory reset, you're going to want to have it set to safe. And while holding down the trigger button, you're going to want to connect your battery. Now you can help yourself with a zip tie or something like that. Hold the trigger down, but again, not necessary if you're handy. Wait for a little bit more, and you'll hear a beep, like a long one. That's it. So now our gun has been restored to factory settings. And now, if we replug this battery and go to, for instance, semi, shoot, it's gonna do something. It does not want to shoot, the only thing it does, it does those three beeps. Uh, now, they started shipping out guns like this for some reason. Uh, I don't know if there's any like new uh, laws, but mine came like that. So now we're going to talk about how to unlock it. Now to unlock it, you're going to want to again set it to safe. And now connect it. Do not hold the trigger this time. And wait for three seconds. And when you hear that, hold your trigger down for 5 seconds until you hear 2 beeps. And there we go. If we now switch to semi, your gun shoots. Now to enter programming mode, you're going to want to go from semi to auto, to semi to auto, and then again on semi. So it's, it's going to look something like this. You hear 2 beeps? Good. Now you're in programming mode. Now, this is how you shift. So in auto, you shift throughout the categories, and in semi auto, you shift between subcategories. This might be a little bit hard to understand, so let's show an example. So let's now program this AK to shoot in free round burst instead of full auto. So if we switch to full auto now, full auto. But now let's do it so it's a free round burst. So we enter the programming mode again. And now we use this trigger to shift between semi, to switch between categories. So we have one beep, that means we're in the first category, which is auto, which is what we want. So we switch it now to semi, and we now have entered the semi, the auto subcategory. Now, we are on the first one, we're going to click it, two beeps, this means we selected the second subcategory. Three beeps means we have selected the third subcategory, which is what we want, the free round burst. Now to save it, you're going to want to hold down the trigger for two seconds, approximately, and then it's going to do a long beep, and then you put it to save, and then back to uh, auto, and it should be on free round burst. Here we go, semi, and now when you put it on auto, free round burst, free round burst. Okay, let's do another example. Let's say I want to switch my semi-fire mode to fire on binary instead of semi. So we'll pull the trigger, shoot once, we'll release it, it should shoot again. So let's re-enter programming mode, do the same procedure we did before, programming mode now. Okay, one beep, let's cycle to two beeps, so we are in the second category. Okay, we have now entered the second category, as you can hear that from the two beeps. Now, to enter the subcategory of semi-auto fire, we're gonna switch to semi, and we're now on the first category of the subcategory of semi. And now let's click it again, we get two beeps, which means that we have now selected binary fire. Now, let's hold it down for two seconds, And we'll put it back here, we'll put it back to semi, and we'll put a trigger, it'll shoot once, and release it, and it'll shoot again. First talk about the first 
category, which is the auto category right here. You get this card usually with your gun, otherwise you can find it online. I'll put one on the screen, you can screenshot it if your gun doesn't come with this. So, the first thing we have is auto, and on auto you have auto, which is auto. You have semi, so you can have two semi settings if that's like a legal problem. You can have three round burst, pull once, shoot three BBs, five round burst, pull one, shoot five BBs. Then on the second category, which is the semi-auto fire, you have semi, normal, binary, which I just showed. You pull the trigger, shoots once, you release it, you shoot again. Basically, if you get really fast fingers, you can turn it into full auto if full auto is banned. Then you have AUG, which means that if you pull the trigger a bit, it'll shoot once, but if you pull it to the end, it'll switch to full auto. And then you have the final selection, which is sniper, which means that after each shot, your gun will lock up for about 3-4 seconds. Third category is trigger point, which means at what point your trigger will release. You have five settings from 20% to 100%. Your gun stock out of the box comes at 20%, which means that the trigger pull would be very short and very satisfying. This is something that you should just set to 20% and forget about it in most cases. Then on the fourth category, we have pre-cocking. Pre-cocking basically means that the spring, when you shoot, it pulls back, shoots, and then it pulls it back. So next time you pull the trigger, it just releases the spring instead of pulling the spring back and then releasing it. This basically does is um, the trigger response gets really good, but this only really works with semi-automatic, and you have levels from one to six. Now, for me personally, level six has never worked on any of the guns I have with whole replica. It just turns into a two-round burst. Um, but if you are gonna use this, I'd recommend level four or five because again, it is much more snappier, much more better, especially on semi-auto only. But when you're done playing, make sure to put it on full auto and shoot a few bursts. That's so you don't have a compressed spring in here because that will firstly destroy your spring and secondly, your internals. And then fifth is active brake. This is only really um, useful if you're upgrading your motor to a brushless motor uh, if you are just looking to program, that doesn't matter for you. But if you are going to switch this motor out for a brushless one, you should just go to active brake and turn it off. That's it. So this is going to be it regarding the whole MOSFET programming. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any other uh, questions, make sure to comment them or join our Discord. Best options.